So I just got my first 14 TPS solve, and I want to show you how I did that. I'm going to be showing you the breakdown and every single finger trick and a few extra solving tips. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick breakdown first, and then I'll go more in depth with my finger tricks after. So I did a white cross, and my first pair was the red and blue here. So I solved the cross RD and then R from FR. So this corner only moved by one D move, so it was here, and now it's here, and the edge stayed in place, so it was really easy to look ahead into my first pair. Just solved like that. Then I saw these two, and I did a D prime with my left thumb, and then I solved these with left D moves, like such. Then for these two, I put the corner on top of the edge and solved it like this. And then for these last two, I did a D with my right thumb and then solved it right here using a lefty double flick U2 and solved it like that. And then I did a U because I was going so fast it, I couldn't recognize it immediately. Did a U, then recognized the oval and then went into it like this. And then I recognized the T perm and did that. Okay, so now I'm going to go a little more in-depth into my finger tricks and a few of the techniques that made this as fast as it was. So for cross, I started with a regrip at the start. So I put my hand in this position so I can just spam all the way until I finish the first pair. So RD, R prime F, R2 U prime, R prime, insert the pair. And then from this position, I'm sort of in like a home grip. Uh, my thumb, my left thumb might be a little more to the left than normal, this is right spam, but that's fine because I'm going to use my left thumb here to push to do a T prime. So I think this is very important for flow. If you don't do it, you would be like U prime Y, and it's still fast, but it's still fast if you don't do it. But I think just for flow, it's very good. And then my lefty moves here. If I was like bad at lefty moves and can only do... Uh, are you then this solve also would not be as fast as it was so you really got to practice your left-handed moves you could do lu drills on cs timer it's like a two gen practice technique and you can improve your lefty moves like that uh for this one it was so i actually could have done this to solve it and that's probably better but not for tps wise so i guess it was good that i did this did it like this. So I pushed. You, you could use your right index like that, but I used my left index and pushed. And then insert. And then here is the lefty double U2, or U2. And this is very important. I use it several times. If I just did like U prime, U prime, or like re gripped weirdly and did normal U2, this solve also wouldn't have been as fast as it was. And then for these two, I could have canceled and done another lefty uh, U2 and then gone like this, do a D, a YD, and insert. But I did uh, a worse solution, but it's fine. So I did the, the D again and lefty U2 there and solved it like this, just trying to keep the flow as good as possible. And then here, I never stayed... I never like rotated an OLL or went away from home grip and I went straight into the OLL. I'm just trying to maximize the TPS here. And then T perm, my finger tricks for it is you could, well, the start is either pinch with your right index or use your left index like that. I prefer left index, but that's just me. So left index, prime F, R2, U prime, prime U prime, and then you could do it re ripless with another push there, or maybe that, and then F prime. Honestly, I just like to re grip because you have time to re grip when you're doing all this right here. The time to when you do the U prime right there, you can sort of re grip your hand. So sort of re grip like that. 